it's Jeff Greenberg with another great tip, this time understanding about drive compatibility and why XFAT is not your friend. I'm only going to suggest you use XFAT for transferring between computers just as a one and done. I'm going to talk about a couple common drive formats, and the first is FAT32, and I still have, for example, some GoPros with chips in it that do this. FAT32 is a file allocation table. It's cross-platform. You can plug it in a Mac, PC. It's great. It's limited to four gigabytes, and that's what it looks like inside of Disk Utility. You see, it's got that MS-DOS FAT32. I run into four gigabyte limitations all the time. That's no good for me. On Windows, the better format is always to pick NTFS. That's a new technology file system. Now, I kind of laugh a little bit about that because that's going back to like before the year 2000. Your Mac can read this, but can't write it. The most common Mac drive format for external drives happens to be called HFS Plus. That's the hierarchical filing system, also known as Mac OS X Extended. This is my primary format, especially on my Mac centric systems. This can be read and written on a Macintosh. Windows can't look at this at all, just doesn't know what to do with it. Starting with OS 10.7, that would be Lion. This is a good 10 years plus ago. We had the, also the option to format drives XFAT. Now, XFAT looks on paper like it's great. It can plug in a Mac, it can plug into a PC, reads and writes in both spots, can have files greater than four gigabytes, sounds good. The scary part is it's not journaled, meaning it might not write the data correctly if ejected improperly. When you're moving little files around, sometimes that stuff doesn't get written until the next real big burst. Over here, I am to have a drive. Now, it's got a big saying there. It says it's an XFAT drive. I'm going to right click and do a get info. I'm going to show you right here. It's an XFAT drive. And then I'm going to do the thing that you're not supposed to do. I'm going to just pull the drive from the system. Boom. It's not ejected properly. And because this is an XFAT volume, you know what the danger is. I might have lost some data. I use XFAT, but if I'm going to use it, I use it as a, I'm putting it on this thumb drive, ejecting it properly, and taking it to another system and getting that data off. So it all comes down to which to pick. And I'm going to choose XFAT particularly when I just unbox that thumb drive and plug it in. I know it's really meant only for transfers. I'll put some media on it, eject it properly, take it to the host system where it's going to go live and copy it off. On my Windows boxes, pretty much everything's formatted NTFS. The only problem with NTFS is while I can read it on my Mac, I can't write it. And for that, I use a third party tool called Paragon NTFS. Yeah, there's some other open source items and there's some terminal items you can do. But let's be honest here, for reading and writing data, you want to be using a fully tested supported driver. Speaking of which, on my Macintosh, I can read and write HFS. But when I get to Windows, I can't. And if you're a Mac shop and you've got one or two Windows boxes, what you really need is Mac Drive. This is sort of the opposite version of Paragon. And one of the things I like about Mac Drive is it's owned by OWC. It's what I think is the best tool for reading and writing HFS Plus on a Windows machine. One last footnote. On Windows, there are a couple of different ways you can build a RAID, a bunch of disks. And it's kind of a pain because if you ever take that RAID that you built on a Windows machine to a different Windows machine, just switching it can mean a trip to the drive management utility and literally importing your RAID. Now, there's another tool, and it's again cross compatible. Same guys as Mac Drive. It's owned by OWC. It's called Soft RAID. If you build a RAID using Soft RAID, the RAID can be plugged into others' Windows systems with zero setup, and even over on your Mac. It even has Mac Drive built in. So if you build a RAID on a Mac, it's formatted HFS, take it over to the PC, it recognizes, it reads and writes without a problem. You'll need a full license for Soft RAID for building a RAID and verification. But the trial, you can install on every other machine because it'll allow you to mount those RAIDs and mount them cross-platform. Hope you like this tip about drive format compatibility. And please remember, only use XFAT for transfers. I'm Jeff Greenberg, Film Greek on all your favorite social networks. Hope you found this useful and let me know if you have any questions.